Hello? Hello? Are we on? Are we on? I think we are. Can you see me? Boo! Yes, we're on. Right. Then, good evening. Welcome, everyone. I'm so glad that you can make it here tonight. It's a pleasure to see you all here for the main premiere, the Martin, the movie. What an awesome movie it's going to be. I'll tell you that now. You won't be disappointed. Right. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank everyone who's in the movie and they know who they are. I'm telling you now, this is not a thriller. It's not an action. It's not a comedy. <laughs> and it's certainly not a porn film. It's a film about me, Martin! So sit back, relax, and enjoy the film. And I'll see you in a little while. Ooh. Tread these stones, the ones you know, along the road that you have traveled oh so long. I knew Martin when he was the age of eight, back in the year 1943. It was a hot, rich summer. He was on stage with Bobby Ball singing away two legends in the prime of life now his child career was doing well at the time until i convinced him to move to scunthorpe he was going off the rails much like many legends of the time like my old pal gary glitter much like when he used to not be able to stay in the lines of his coloring books he couldn't stay behind the lines of the law <laughs> There's nothing much to do in Scunthorpe Town A local hero who sat quite low Till the men, the legend, they call Martin Morgan Steal the show So grab yourself a pint of beer and let me hear you scream and cheer here Cause the one, the only Martin Morgan is here So raise your glasses, Martin Morgan is here If you go down to Jamna today Or all the places where the ramblers play 
Actually from Wales, my hometown is Aberystwyth. Yes, that's right, Aberystwyth. Don't worry if you can't read it or spell it. Doesn't matter. And uh, I've had one hell of a life, actually. Um, when I was a child, up until now, I'm an entertainer, the biggest entertainer in the whole world in history. Well, I met Martin in a club a few years ago, and um, I was outside in the smoking area having a drink, and then uh, from inside I heard this, this angelic voice, and uh, it sent chills down my spine, and I thought, I've got to meet this woman, I've got to, I've got to see her in person. And then when I went inside, Martin was stood on stage singing. Well, I actually met him in a production of The Water Babies, and um, I don't actually think he read the script at all, or did any research or prepared himself for it because he was just dressed as a like a like a big fucking baby and he was just like stood there in a diaper and he was just like shitting all over himself and crying when i first met them i was doing a gig at the nec arena a concert big concert it was and they were standing in the front like Two crazy fangirls. What's a fangirl? Well, we um we met him at his uh his his house. It was more of what did he call it? Houseboat. Yeah, it wasn't a houseboat though, it was a, a, a car on the side of a river. He invited us, he said it was gonna be like uh, MTV Cribs. Yeah. But with a boat. Yeah. Hello, lads. Hi, Martin. How you doing? Well, not too bad, are you? Nice Good. To see you. Ooh, I like your shorts. Oh, well, thank you. They look trendy, don't they? Yeah. Where's your boat? That's my boat. Where's the river? Oh, the river's just over there. Over the bank. What was you doing there in the car? Oh, I was having a meeting. <laughs> Personal meeting. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I feel good now. So. I really do. 
Very hell, man. Just like chitty chitty man, man, is it? Oh, I'm just cooking some toast. That, that's not what that's for. <laughs> what do you mean? I ain't How? got anything else. How long does it take? Oh, a couple of hours, you know. What? The whole thing? Yeah! It takes time, patience. Now, what can I say about Martin? What can I really say? Titillating, to be exact. The first time I saw him on stage at the snooker club, I was more excited than I've ever been. Since I was 40, to be exact, I'd not felt life in me like that since my old ex-wife touched me on the thigh. Oh, cracking! What? Look at this, guys! Have you done it? Oh, yeah, Fantastic. I've done it. It's beautiful. It's a bit burnt, like. Oh. Do you want some? Dickhead! Hey, you fucking bugger! I'm absolutely twatted. Whew, that was my last pair of socks as well. Well, I'll have to go to Primark. But I can't afford it, that's the problem. Fucking wanker. At least I got my toast. Oh no. Who's put cigarettes in my toast? So? I offered you one. They were a gift. A gift? You call that a gift? Don't give me that crap. Martin, Martin, Martin. What? What are you doing? I'm running the guitar. Why? Because I'm writing a song. Do you want to hear my song? More than anything Please, in the world. Please, Martin. Yes. Oh, hang on, lads. Oh. I ain't got any paper, so I'll be some toilet roll. Oh. Um. I find this difficult to play and hold. I work so hard I need a break Oh no! Damn it! That was going to be a number one hit! Honest, I've just lost my one and truly song. Will we write it? I can't. I can't. That's... Well, what are you going to do then? What are you going to do now? I'm going to fucking bed. Well, it's ten in the morning. I've had enough for one day. The sun's barely come out. I'll sleep on it. Excuse me. I'm quite upset. We'll, we see, we'll see you tomorrow, will we? Yeah. Don't close the door. Oh, please. Poor guy. I've just found a pound. At least I don't have to rob the place now. Well, I've just found this pound right on the floor, and now I'm going to go in the shop and buy a scratch card. In hell! Fucking man! I've won the jackpot! Yes! Get in there. Bring it on! Now, I've got 
some money to get a house. A deposit for a house, new clothes, and most of all, new socks. You couldn't ask for a better lottery, scratch card. I'm rolling. I'm rolling in it. I got a bit. What? In the last scene. Yeah. You had shorter hair and shorter beard. What's happened to the continuity? Continuity. Continuity. Continue. Uh, continue. 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 Continuity. It's almost like we filmed these scenes months apart! I pulled in some favours with the old snooker mates and got him a job at the Comet doing a disco night. John Gregg got Martin a gig here. He's doing a DJ night and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of Scunthorpe's uh, richest 1% are coming. Uh, Gary Hurd and all that. Should be fun. <laughs> It's hard not to struggle when you're playing in a new venue. I remember when I first got with my ex-wife, why under? We took ourselves into the house. I'd just finished making a nice, hot lamb shank. I took her to the bedroom, and I must say I struggled. Okay, we are live. Yes, we're live in the comments here tonight. We're going to show you some good moves tonight. I hope you're all ready, ready yet to rumble on the dance floor. Let's hit the music. I've never been with a black woman before. And much like Martin playing at the Comet, he'd never been there before either. He didn't know what he was getting into. And my God, did he fuck it up. Yes, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. So, uh, what do you think of Martin's set? Well, I think he's a stand-up guy, and I really like his music. Yeah? Yeah, man. I'll be happy to hear that. Cool beans. So, uh, where do you think, uh, what do you think lies in Martin's future? Well, don't tell him anything, but I'm considering him for Party in the Pines 2014. Really? Yeah, man. Nice one. And I really dig this mix. Oh, this is exciting. I've got the key for my house. My new house. Come along, lads. It's absolutely splendid. Oh, this is the big moment. Oh, I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Too. Oh, can I have a cup of tea? Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, I've broken the key. How's it looking? All right, mate. I hope I've gotten none of Sorted, sorted. Sorted? Oh, marvellous. You're the freaking man. Fucking man. Oh. There we go. A tip. Cheers. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely incredible. I love it a bit. It's a big improvement, you know. Big improvement from the car I had when I used to live in. It's much bigger. It's not like chitty chitty bang bang. But this house 
is absolutely splendid. It's just for me. And that's all I can say is a big improvement. I've done well. I really have done well. I mean, I'm really happy for him. It's nice to see him living in something other than his disgusting little automobile. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty decent house. Ooh. Kimberly Walsh, how are you doing? From Girls Aloud. Absolutely splendid girl. Not as bad as this one. Cheryl Cole, isn't she a cracker? So All the right. pictures of the celebrities on his wall, and on his windowsill, and his mantelpiece, and in his bedroom, and in his kitchen, it's a bit unnerving. It's a bit like being in the Manson family house. I mean, I especially enjoyed the picture of his sister before, but now it kind of follows you around the room. Oh, and here is Lionel. Lionel, he's a star. He's the one I'm looking for. He's got a stunning daughter, Nicole. Can't remember her surname though. And I'll tell you what, I won't mind doing a duet with this guy. And we'll have to be all night long. <sighs> he could be my support act actually, couldn't he? I'll have to give him a phone call. Let's see what he says. I'll put you down there, Lionel. You take it easy. It's only Monday morning. <laughs> this is the kitchen. It's the best room in the house, I think. Oh, look at this. Worktop. Oh, what's in here? Oh, wooden spoon. My butcher knife. <laughs> comes everywhere with me, don't you lad? All he's good as is rubbish. <laughs> what do you think about that, eh? Oh yeah, yeah you do, don't you? I hypnotise him at night because he can't sleep. This is my sock drawer. What's the thing about the socks? He's become, he's become very um, he's always protective. always talking about socks. Very protective of his socks. I came to his house the other day. I stood in a puddle. I had wet socks. Martin, can I borrow some socks? No, you can't! This is my garden. Absolutely splendid garden. They've even put pegs out for me so I could put my socks on the line. I could have barbecues, dance around the fire, boogie boogie, barbecue, have some women around, and then we'll get carried away. And they've got a shed. I think it's a shed or it's a toilet, I don't know. That's where I'll be having a good jump. Oh, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm, I'm really going to enjoy this. You know, I'm looking forward to it. I really am. I'm just checking my emails, guys. My Facebook and my Twitter. Enter. <laughs> it's so fast. There we go. Right, I don't know how to work it, technology these days, 
So confusing. Really is. What was that? Let me have a look. Oh, it's a carrier pigeon. Ah. Oh, it's a message. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Oh. A message. God, it's a message from Gary Heard. He wants me to host party in the pines. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is amazing. Oh. Dear Martin, it says, I would like. I was so excited to host Party in the Pines. It was honoured to Gary Hood to give me the chance to host it. We are friends and we're still friends right now and we're so tight. Ooh. Right. Are you sure you want to do this, Martin? Yes. I want to look good. I want to look good for the big show on Saturday. It's, just, it's a bit extreme, isn't it? I'm not convinced it's the right way I to go. I, no, trust me. I want to look good for the fans. For Patty and the Pines, this is a big one. This is the main I don't think one. they care what colour you are. Well, I don't care. I'm going to look good for them. And that's what I want. Well, all right. Well, we okay. better get started then, boys. Yes, we better. Okay, then. We're going to have to start with the chest, though. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I feel like we're on the only way left your, your back is hairier than my ass. Honestly. It's years of bloody growing up. Years of growing up? Yeah, from being a child. There he is, that big orange man. Do you think do you think I get pulled? I, I, by the police. By the
tried to find the right outfit for Pines, you know. I don't know what he had in his hair, I don't know what he exactly planned or what he thought he was going to wear. I mean, he took us to costume shops and we went through so many outfits with him and most of them really not appropriate. I like the Twister one. I like the Twister one. And then one day we was walking down the street and um, he saw this red waistcoat in the window of the shop and it way out of his budget. It was a perfect moment though, his eyes lit up. He looked at us. The old smile on his face and said, <laughs> can you lend me 500 pounds? <laughs> and we said no. But, I'll tell you a secret, we actually bought it for him. Well, Sean stole it. Yeah. Good old Sean. So I gave me old pal Martin the opportunity of a lifetime. I gave him a spot on John Gregg's Saturday Night Disco. It was Monday the 14th of uh, January. And now, with their top 46 hit, it's the Chris Copper Band with Jesus is Sciatic. I told him, Martin, you can do no wrong. Say what you like, I let him go. And he bugged it up like I knew he would. When I had the phone call off the Gary Heard about losing Party in the Pines was so emotional. My heart just broke into two. And when he heard about I revealed the headlining act, he wasn't happy with me and I've was so upset, I said to myself, oh, I've blown it. Oh. Sorry, Martin. Oh. You'll get sorry, don't worry, guys will call you. Uh, oh. Maybe he doesn't care. I don't know. I don't know what I've done wrong. Well, he announced to the world that Reverend the Makers was headlining Pines when he was specifically asked not to, thus ruining the whole surprise and potentially, you know, losing them out on a lot of money. But, I'm sure Kaz will be fine with it, don't worry. I hope so. Oh, oh. oh by myself. Oh, my dream. My dream. I fucked it up now. <laughs> Well, he's not taking it very well. I think he's borderline suicidal at this point. I went around the other day and, and he'd taken off all of his clothes and burnt them in a bin. Dusty. And um, he'd written on the walls in lipstick. I don't know where he got that from in the first place, but he'd written, Why life is so hard. You know, I think we can all take something from that. He does this thing, he tends to wander off when he's, uh, when he's upset about something and he, he generally will find him and we'll have to pick him up from a park. Stop! Frick it, you're meant 
It looks like it's raining. <sighs> Fucking hell. <sighs> Crikey. I've never known anything yeah. like it. He's only trying to do his job. Yeah, doing his job? I might as well do the job myself. Freaking hell. It's a very dark time. When Paul told me he was going to quit. I could not believe it. It broke my heart in two. I had to control the camera myself. That was hard. And acting as well. Not an easy job. Excuse me for a moment. It's quite an emotional, well, because I think the world of them, I really did. I'm so sorry. I really am so sorry. I think I need the toilet. <laughs> It's Gary Hood. Hello? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, that is great. That is great. Thank you. Oh, I apologise for it last time. Sorry for last time, but thank you. Oh, that, yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. So it was all coming together, it was going really well. Uh, we had Pines back, uh, Martin was really happy, he was really excited. The film wasn't going too well. Martin, cameras don't go, you know, the technology thing is not good. Um, you know, he, he, he tried and tried and he continuously called Paul. Paul just refused to work with him and he didn't take it well. And then, in a stroke of undeniable genius, I came up with the idea to prepare my meat hamper. An old fashioned meat hamper. You got your chicken, you got your pork pies, you got your beef. Yes, corned as well. You got your sausage rolls, you got your little wieners. And we sent it to his door. And then we got a phone call. I'm so glad Paul is back. You know, I'm so annoyed with myself with what I said to him. I'm glad he didn't take it to heart. At least we can crack on now and make this film so amazing. I'm still not getting paid for this. Not today, Donaldson. I'm running the show.
Are you ready, Martin? Oh yes, I'm ready. This is it. Oh yeah, it's I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so ready for this. Come so far, Martin. I know. I'm so proud. So am I. Come on, free pog. Oh. Bring it in. Oh lad. Oh. I love you. I love you. I love you like a brother. Oh. Oh, right, then, lads, I'm going. This is it. Hold Wait. your horses. Not without this, you know. Give me a moment. Get out. What are you doing? Come on. Hang on, lads, what are you doing? You're not going without this. Oh, lads. Tread these stones. Oh. The ones you know Thank you so much Along the road that you have travelled oh so long my friend I'm Keep this home Don't start to choke Thank you Fly all your banners and the line Yeah we're really really proud of Martin He's come a long way And he's really worked for this Oh, Dustin, you have made it. Everything's falling in place. Yeah. Turn your face to the wind when you speak. It begins. Have conviction in your stride. Dreams can do come true. Let's hear it. Hold my hand, we'll run all night. Hello. And we'll leave this all. you got hand on your heart and chase all the fears away lines <laughs> it's so fast no. <laughs> it's, it's goes pop he's saying his lines and his hands are doing this <laughs> how big should he was just check my emails lads <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this right now. Right, right we can do it, we can do it. Right, come on. <coughs> I'm just checking my emails, lads. <laughs> I'm just checking my emails, guys. My Facebook and Twitter. Oh, Twitter. <laughs> Not the fucking chair, that's a creep, did it? <laughs> I'm just checking my emails. <laughs> Guys, uh, my Facebook, my Twitter. What's up, guys? No. <laughs> 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 oh <my God. laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> Hey Donaldson, I'm running the show. <laughs> what are we talking? Like, so yeah, so I said to the guy, I said, get off. No. So yeah, so I said to the guy, I said, get off of my property, or I will shoot you in the head. Yeah. So I said to him, I said, get the fuck off of my property, or I will shoot you in the leg. So. Oh, oh. <laughs> God damn it. So the guy I said. Get the fuck off of my <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? So I said, get the fuck off my property or I will shoot you in the leg. Yeah. With a hard so, boom. Um <laughs> what the God, I said. Oh! Who are you? Uh I'm Johnny. Um I've got a beard. And I'm frozen in time. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a break and we'll be back shortly.